Eve and I am the owner and founder of the Underdogs Training. We specialise in training blind dogs. Now I get quite asked quite a lot, how can I still play fetch with my dog? And we get a lot of people recommending all these different kinds of balls. It needs to smell, it needs to make a sound. And to be honest, when I've tried these with Poppy, the smelly one she ripped to pieces within about an hour <laughs> and the noisy one she was petrified of. So, can you still use a regular tennis ball? Get various different sizes of them? The answer is yes, you can. So, I'm gonna show you a couple of little ways in which we can still play fetch. Now, Poppy loves fetch. So, first one that I'm gonna show you is I'm gonna roll it along the ground so she can hear where it's going. So, I'm just gonna show her that I've got a ball. Right, she's ready. Ready. Good girl. Now she doesn't always find these but she'll give it a good go try and then have a good sniff around after so she's still working all of these brain muscles. Right Poppy, you ready? Good girl! Good girl! Yes! Thank you! <laughs> good girl. Okay, so kicking it's the another one. Another one that we can do is that we can bounce it quite hard so that they can hear where it's going. But when I say bounce it, I don't mean bounce it over there because they can miss that. Bounce it quite close so it does a couple of bounds. Okay, Poppy, ready? <laughs> so it doesn't always go perfectly. Because we've been doing the kick and the roll ones, she's got used to running quite fast. So while she's a bit further away, I'm going to go again. ways that you can use a tennis ball with a blind dog you don't need to go and spend any extra money on any other balls and just enjoy it have fun with your dog and help them to learn now, i hope you found this video useful check all my other videos out too for other little tips and tricks and have a good day